Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am back. I had to change my lighting, so please forgive me for that. I am here on this Friday morning reading our devotional for today, Strength for Each Day. This is your daily strength. This is your Friday strength. God wants us to change how we see things, how we perceive things. He wants us to look at things in an extraordinary way. And the title of today's devotional is Sing the Extraordinary in the Ordinary. And I wrote down the definition. Ordinary is people or things are normal and not special or different in any way. When something is ordinary, you can take it or leave it. No, oh, it's not that big of a deal. I can live without them. There's nothing special about them. There's nothing great about them. But when something is extraordinary, it's beyond what is usual, ordinary, regular, or established. And that's how God wants us to start seeing things, life, people. He wants us to start seeing one another past our mistakes, our shortcomings. That's what he wants us to do. So extraordinary is beyond what is usual, ordinary, regular, or established. For you are great and work wonders. You alone are God. That's Psalms 86 and 10. To a small child, everything is amazing. But as we grow older, we lose sight of the wonder of all around us. You know, we get so mature that we forget about the things that used to excite us, things that used to make us happy, things that used to bring us joy. When different things go to happen in life, it's hard to find happiness. It's, it's hard to find peace. But God is wanting us to some way, somehow, to look for the extraordinary in the, in, in the ordinary. I would like to suggest that we, that we recapture the wonder of everyday life. Life is never merely ordinary when we live it with God. He is always doing amazing things, and we simply need to take the time to look for them. The sun comes up every day, and it's amazingly beautiful. But few of us pay attention to it. I have four grown children who are all healthy and serving God. And that is amazing. I have been married today for 54 years. And wow, is that ever amazing. We tend to look for things that are extraordinary. But the truth is that Amazing wonder is all around us in the things we see and experience each day. Let's learn to see the extraordinary in ordinary. Every extraordinary everyday life, I can promise you it is there if you will simply look for it. Sometimes we got to look past what's normal. Sometimes we have to look past, look past, uh, you know, is that all it is? God wants us to stop. We're moving too fast. We're too much in a hurry. Till we're missing all the beautiful things that every day brings. If we could just take a moment. If we can just take, get up a few hours early. And let him begin to show you the extraordinary. If you've been looking at everything out of an ordinary lens, God want us to, want us to change that today. Because there are so many beautiful things that we're missing out on. Because of the chaos and the craziness of this world, the extraordinary still exists. 
It's still there for us to look upon, to acknowledge, to appreciate. Can we stop a moment to appreciate the extraordinary? And the prayer for today, Father, you are truly amazing. And there is nothing mutant or ordinary about living life with you. Help me to see all the extraordinary things that fill my life each day and to appreciate them. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Sometimes so much is going on in our life that it's hard to see anything special, anything great. Especially if you don't have a husband. If you don't have what what was mentioned in here amazing children all of our children are amazing but i think they're mostly talking about when um that you know when your kids have achieved something great and awesome but god want us to take the time you have to take the time to see the extraordinary in the ordinary it's easily, it's easily just look up on something and consider it as nothing, useless, no value. But those are the extraordinary things, the things that we take for granted, the things that we choose to look over. Those things that we seem to set aside. God wants us to go back and pick those things up. God wants us to go back and acknowledge those things. Because he said those things, they're extraordinary. It's something special about them. It's something great about them. It's something unusual about them. God said, go back. Look again. See what you missed. If you don't think that you've missed anything, he said, seek him. He'll show you. He'll tell you. He'll reveal it. Even if it's in someone that you think is simple, is ordinary, there's not much to them. They don't have much going for themselves. God is saying you've missed the heart. That's the most important thing. You've missed the character. That's one of the most important things. God said go back and look again. And he'll point out what's great. He'll pick out what's unusual. He'll pick out what's beyond what you have been seeing, beyond what you've ever noticed. But it comes with wanting to see that. It comes with wanting to know that. So God want us to go back, reevaluate, see what we missed, See what we've looked over. And he will show you the extraordinary. We've taken one another for granted. We've taken life for granted. But God want us to go back, look again. See what you've missed. See what you left behind. There are some things in life that we've left behind. There are some things in life that we've looked over. There's things in life that we had devalued. God said, you missed the beauty. You missed the beauty. That's the end of the devotional. It was short and sweet. I wasn't sure if I was going to come on, but I just said, Lord, minister to somebody's heart. Sometimes we can go through so much in life till we don't stop and see the beautiful things in life. It's overlooked. It's not acknowledged. It's taken for granted. But God is saying today, there's something extra. There's something unusual. If you was to stop and go back and look again, if you go back and seek again, if you go back and acknowledge again. He's going to point out the extraordinary. 
So with that being said, I pray that everyone have an amazing day. I pray that your morning's gotten off to an amazing start. Speak life over your situation, your circumstance, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're battling with, no matter what you're struggling with, no matter the addiction. You know, there's so much going on in this world today that a lot of people's giving up. A lot of people feel like life is just not worth living. It's worth living if you're living it for Christ. And that doesn't mean that you won't have trials and tribulations because that's part of it. <laughs> Jesus suffered, so we will suffer. But our suffering is a lot different when we're going through for Christ. He promised to take care of us. He promised to protect, to protect us. But that doesn't mean we won't go through. He said weapons will form, but they just won't prosper. The devil will come up against you, but he can't do nothing with us. If we're living for him, if we stay connected to him, Find out who you're connected with and make sure you're still connected to the vine so that the devil won't overtake you, so that the devil won't press you out, so that the devil won't cause you to give up and throw in the towel. Who you connected to today matters. So with that being said, again, speak life. Don't allow the enemy begin to speak negativity into your ears. Be careful of the seed that you plant in your garden. Because whatever seed that you plant in your garden, that's what you'll harvest. If you plant the seed of depression, anxiety, mental health, whatever you plant in your garden, that's what you'll see. Speak life today. Speak life today. That's what God wants us to do. He wants us to speak what he spoke. So that we may have a, a fulfilled life. A life of abundance. A life of overflow. Until next time, everyone be blessed. Speak life over yourself, your family, your friends, your foe. Speak life over someone that have done you wrong, that have mistreated you that have cast you aside, that rejected you, that didn't see no value in you, speak life. Speak life over them. Until next time, everyone, be blessed. And if the Lord allow me, I'll be back tomorrow reading the devotional. <laughs> God is good. A big thanks to everyone that hopped on. For those that came all the way in the classroom, ready to sit and learn. I'm grateful for those that stuck their head in the door and said, well, it's only her. She's back again. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back again. <laughs> I'll be back until God say to do something different. So, and, I, um, and a big thanks to those that will hop on after the live. I appreciate you as well. Um, may God um, continue to bless you and your family. Until next time, everyone, be blessed. Good morning, TT. Love you.